the I am amazed by Christians and Republicans who are more offended over Trump's tweets than they are over Joe Biden's anti-gun, taxpayer-funded abortion positions. I'm done with these people. They're inconsistent. Some of them are super smart, but they're inconsistent. The Republican Party, if Trump were to lose tomorrow, and there's a good chance that could happen. I'm not going to mis- I'm not going to mislead you and I'm not going to give you a false sense of hope. That's not what I'm here to do. The Republicans, and from what I can tell from a lot of you out there, if Trump loses, there are going to be a lot of voters who blame the Republican Party for the party's own internal backbiting and undermining of the Trump administration. They're going to blame that as a cause. And they will ruin the big tent that has been handed to them. And if you think voters are mad now, God help the Republican Party on Wednesday if they lose big because the Tea Party will look like a toddler's game. I'm, you know, uh, I'm kind of done with, the, with, with a lot of the people in the party already. And I have been for a while. I, am, I have been a black sheep with the GOP for a very long time. And they have, a lot of the, a lot of the people on K Street and elsewhere have hated me since Romney. Hated me. Some of them didn't like my ad, I'm told. The ad that we did with the Red State Warriors for second to none. It's fine because it ain't for you. It's not for people who like to make deals about gun rights. It's not. I just don't have, I don't have time for it. This is why I will never move to D.C. I will never move to, I just don't have time or the temperament for that. And a lot of you out there don't either. You don't want to be caught up in these little petty internal squabblings. And that's what a lot of this is. I mean, here you have, I'm going to tell you something else too, and I'll get into this more next hour. When you look at what has been happening in so many other countries as a response to the coronavirus stuff, and how in the very beginning you had all these, you had Burks and Fauci and all these scientists telling Trump, you got to shut it down, everything needs to be shut down, and for a little bit, for 15 days, all right, we're going to do it to slow the roll. And then after that, Trump and others thought, you know what, we, you, you're, you're moving the goalposts. We did 15 days to flatten the curve, and now you're talking about the elongated wave. What the hell do you think flattening the curve is? And I don't know if, would you, do you think that Mitt Romney would have stood up to this kind of stuff? The badgering from the press and even other Republicans? There are other Republicans who are fine with a slow ascent into tyranny so long as it means they reserve their hold on power. That's fact. Do you think that somebody like a Romney or some other milquetoast Republican would have stood up to this? No. No. You've seen leader after leader bend a knee to rage mobs and tyranny across the world. And Trump hasn't done that. But there are still holdouts out there. Well, his tweets and rhetoric. Oh, well, you know, so much worse than taxpayer-funded abortion. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, I just don't know that anybody, I don't think anybody else would have, would have stood up to that in that manner. I really don't think so.